Hey everyone, Josh here. Um, this cold open is just to apologize for the audio and video quality. The venue was closing and I was in a bit of a hurry. So uh, I hope you enjoy anyway. And yeah, thanks for being part of Room 6. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. It does tend to derail things. It's a hard thing to come back from. It slows you down. Yeah. It, it's the, it's that temporary good. First of all, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Welcome to Room Six on the Road, a channel dedicated to mostly local talent here in Las Vegas and uh, the people who make it. I'm Josh, and these fine folks here are no, they've been together since 2019, known for their math violence, no core, noise core, and gore grind sound pretty much, covers it all, yeah. and for donating proceeds to amazing causes. Their new single, A House Seems to Breathe, has been reviewed on this channel. You can check it out there. And they've done collaboration splits with Thought Crime, Bleach Milk, Shit Noise, Bastards, and more. Also appeared on the We Are Coming to Steal Your Face compilation. Please welcome to the channel. I thought you were going to say your name. I don't know why. Please <laughs> welcome to the channel, Head Gore. Head Gore. Head Gore. Head Gore. Head Gore. I, don't, I, I don't know why I thought you were just going to yell it out. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Normally I would toast you, but, well, we're all, we're all done. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a little late. Yeah, no, no. Last call was made. Uh, we're actually at Chiba Hut, where... Which is surprising. It's a toasted sub shop that puts on amazing live shows, including the one that Headgore just played tonight with four bands from Denver, themselves, and then the other local band that I'll be uh, hopefully doing an interview with soon is Ashbro. All bands killed it, especially you guys. I, I, I dare say you were one of the crowd favorites. It was really awesome. Thank you. And by the way, that look is dapper. <laughs> Fierce. Hell yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, and we have some, 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 some friends here, some hangers on. Right on. These are our bodyguards. Yes. Bodyguards. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Our hired goons. Hired so, goons. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Union the bugs. born goons. So, um, because it is after, it, it was last call, this isn't going to be a, the usual, like, hour or whatever interview. This will be a little, little condensed one. So, as much as I hate to say this line, in the interest of time, let's start with... Where did the name come from? Why Ah, uh, I love this story. So, <laughs> Irene uh, really likes the band. Uh, I always forget the name of it. Pissgrave. Pissgrave. <laughs> Pissgrave uh, are pretty known for having a lot of very gory album covers. Mm. And most of them being the pictures of heads rotting or being decapitated. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, As you do. Yeah, so Irene had a solo project. And I made a kind of meme referencing the solo project and all of the things encompassing it was hissy sounds, fizzy sounds, head gore, and uh, funny funny family guy pictures. <laughs> so head gore was kinda of like a like a term that I created for, for all the all the album covers and piss rate that uh, right. that I really liked. I tell you, you Google it and it, it pops right up. It's the only thing that showed them. Yeah. Later on there's some other stuff, but uh, yeah. Um, and it's de it definitely stands out. It's just, it's one of those, like, you say the name, it's like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> right on. It's like simultaneously, like, not safe for work, but also kind of safe for work. Yeah. It's like a textbook term, but not one you don't say every day, you there know? There you go. So, uh, I, I've been remiss, I forgot, the very first thing I have you do is say hi to the people and introduce yourself and tell them oh. what you do in the band. Uh, we start with Alan first? Alan, yeah. this goes way down. Hello, my name is uh, Alan, uh, also Fonzo Fonzo. Uh, I just play bass. Just play bass? You're the backbone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are the backbone. You're half of the rhythm yeah. section, yeah. eh? Fonzo Fonzo is sick. Fonzo Fonzo, right? Fonzo Fonzo? Yeah. So, I'm a skin jockey. Uh, Skin Jockey is the lead guitarist of uh, Headboard, and I just kind of rub, rub the strings together and make weird, creepy sounds to make the guitar sound not like a guitar. That's, mm -hmm. That sounds about right. 
Can skin jockey just refer to skin jockey in the third person? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The Joshua approves. Oh, yeah. I'm Irene the, the, the room abides. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Let's go good. menthol. Irene menthol slash menthol jewel. I do vocals, noise, and then programming for the bands. Also design a little bit of the artwork and merch. That's about it. A lot of that. Would you say you're the band geek in terms of like all the electronics and everything? A little bit. This person right here, they understand a little bit more of the technical electronics, but I fuck a lot with the art programming and shit, you know? I I've seen posts from both of you, I think, about modding pedals and things like that, modding different things to yeah. get that sound. We're all pretty in tune with it. Right on. Our, Is that a pun? No. Uh, <laughs> in tune with Our merch person also likes to mod um, pedals. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the keyboard and stuff. Yeah. She's over there. Whoop! Shut up. Her name's Heather. Shout out Shout Heather. Heather. Shout out Heather. Shout Heather. Shout Heather. Shout Heather. Most important person of any band is the yeah. merch person. Yeah. <laughs> right there. What's, what's, what's the, uh, what's the second line there? Buy merch. Buy merch. <laughs> um, next. I'm Jehu. I play Slide. And um, I, introduce, I do the, uh, the recording. Right on. And the mixing. Yeah. And last but not least. I'm Dumpster Dan, and I play drums. It's fun. And, and guitar sometimes. Yeah. And guitar sometimes, yeah. yes. <laughs> that happens. Oh, and, and may I say, very nicely accessorized on the emails. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I, I'm testing a theme. <laughs> right on. So, uh, moving on from there real quick, I wanted to talk briefly about musical influences, and, and specifically because I know that's a broad category, especially with the genres that you tend to touch on. I want to talk about that earliest musical influence. What was the first thing that, said, that made you say, like, I want to try, I want to do music, uh, whether it was a particular song, a particular artist, or a particular genre of music, or an instrument? Uh, I would say for me, it started in probably middle school or high school when I found the band Gaza. When I found uh, Gaza, G-A-Z-A. Okay. Yeah, uh, like the guy the strip. Mm -hmm. uh, they're from like Utah, and they were the first ones that I, uh, they were the first ones that introduced me to the genre of sludge, where it's very noisy, very slow, very just eccentric. Chunky. Yes, very very mm. chunky. Yeah, there was and some of that tonight, chunky. I would say. Yeah, there was a little bit of sludge mixed in things. Yeah, before I was really into like very pristine, clear cut, like technical death metal and things of that nature. So when I found out about Gaza, I found out that things could be very dirty and nasty, that like just opened a whole new world of like, different kind of music for me. Right. So I, I would say the earliest for me, God, for sure. It, yeah, it's kind of like that first thing where you're, if you learn on acoustic guitar and then you pick up an electric, you're like, oh, I can get away with stuff. Yeah, now. yes. And, and, and especially with pedals, then you discover, oh, there's all these other genres or sounds that are not, I won't say more forgiving, but necessarily, but, but like, it's it isn't what you hear on the radio necessarily. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Anyway. Make guitar sound like that. Yeah. Next. I think for uh, me personally, the band that really inspired me to start writing music is probably on on the real mortician. Just as mortician really boils down songwriting and song theory just to like its bare bones. Fast part, slow part, sample, end. That's it. And once you can understand the bare fucking essentials of just like how simple song Ryan can be, you can really build up from there, you know? It's like, like one, two, three, zero. <laughs> yeah. zero. And then one, two, three, zero, but palm muted. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes jazz, you throw in that, you know? Throw um, I actually, because of this channel, I review a lot of music, and it's depressingly common. Like, it's just like, I know what's coming next. I know what's coming next. It's good. I, I still, you know, yeah, it's a bop, I like it. But, you know, that's why I enjoy music like her guys is that really makes me sit there and like, okay, what's going on? I can think and I have to really analyze it and get past get past whatever is on the surface. You don't have to analyze it. <laughs> yeah, it's not that deep, I promise. It's truly not that deep. Well, as, as a singer, songwriter, and lyricist, I do sometimes because what I know that sometimes the image you put out there on the front and that includes like the guttural or the you know all the noise. If you dig down, you're like, no, wait, there's like some complicated polyrhythms and other all this other stuff going on that they are doing 
it, it challenge. It almost seems like you're challenging people to, to find it. So I'm down with that. Um, who else? Earliest music reference? Uh, um, uh, I really like Nirvana. Nirvana is the band that. I mean, I was playing music for a long time, but once I found that band, I learned a lot from their music and their sounds. And they are also very sludgy when you find their like B tracks and stuff, kind of like what Marcus was saying. Yes, yes. There, there's some stuff there that never would have made yeah. it on the radio or, or MTV Some or whatever. Stuff, like, you know, like they're from the Melvins and a lot yep. of bands that I really like from that time. So I think that they got me into learning different kind of um, just riffs and shit, I guess. Their, their covers, when they did their MTV Unplugged, of the Meat Puppets and uh, David Bowie, really, yeah, uh, it, I, it opened I my eyes. I was like, yeah. oh. Because of them, I love the Meat Puppets. Yep. Uh, next. I feel like uh, my main influence, like uh, in a lot of recent times, is like Sophia, like the whole like the whole discography was just hella sick, and uh, they whole they just turned me on to like open like metal and like uh, the old record label uh, what's it called Tank Crimes. Tank Crimes. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And what, one of the things I love about doing the show is that I ask this question. And I hear all these acts I may have never heard of. And when I'm back editing, I'll like, oh, write that down, check them out. And that's one that I've never heard of. Yeah, no, this so, Tank Crimes? Yeah, Tank Crimes. Yeah, the they have, no, the album is Human Equals Garbage. Oh, the song is called Tank Crimes. No, their record label, the one that they're a part of right now. They used to be a part of, uh, what's it called? All right. Can't, I can't really remember the name off the top of my head, but they used right. to be part of something else. Future Josh, you know, when you listen to this, pay attention. So which is the actual yeah, artist? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we got you two left, I think. Oh, oh no, you went first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Nirvana. Dan already mentioned Nirvana, so but for me, I guess the, I guess the band that inspired me the most would have been uh, Velvet Underground. Good choice. Uh, Lou Reed. Um, yeah. I guess taught me that uh, I can write a song without knowing how to play the instrument. Uh, yeah. I can You know who reignited my interest in Lou Reed and his whole discography? Anthony Bourdain. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watching Anthony Bourdain, wow. and, and he he was talking about you know Ramones and this, and, and he started talking about Lou Reed, and they uh, I think they, they were playing some of the Lou Reed music, yeah. some of his music, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about him, and started dig- digging into that a bit. Um, cool. Yeah, songwriting, Lou Reed, the Slide, Jack White. Shout out to wow, that, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. suddenly Jack White went in there, huh? <laughs> right on. Absolutely. Cool. Um, how long have you all been head gore? Uh, this project has existed since about early 2019 when I was uh, working at Hot Topic. Yeah, oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, I started the project with my manager, is a dude named Krom. He was the drummer for a while. Krom Fallon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was our original drummer. Yeah, was was Aaron Archer the guitarist at the time? No, 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 okay. no. It was uh, a. He's, he's been on the show and, and talked about Crom Fallon. Yeah, he's been around. He gets around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He yeah. was kind of in the joke. He was kind of in the project. It's just like a fucking you know for funsies kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, like a blues. Like yeah. Blues. yeah. yeah. So just how we should. Aaron, yeah. <laughs> I I recently joined the band. Um, actually, like a year ago. This month, I feel like a year ago. This month, we played our first show together. Yeah. But before then, thanks, like, COVID. <laughs> yeah, but that shit, that shit sucks. But yeah, before that, we were good friends, and they were honestly like my favorite band that I knew out in the city. So it was cool to like actually start playing with them and stuff. We used to play shows together, and like me and our bass our own band. Right Cool. Uh, actually, there were a couple guys uh, uh, running sound tonight, and they said that they're in another band with some members of Headgore, so I think that was... Yeah, you know, yeah, that's uh, Love Adoptera. Yes. That's me and Alan. Right on. Cool. Uh, moving on. So, what's wrong with Mortician? Because apparently you'd like to make... You'd like to insult them. <laughs> I just like the Buster Ball. <laughs> so, I got their attention. Yeah, He's there a you good go. friend of ours now. Right on. Lover. I've, uh, if only they, if only they would come on and do an interview, huh? You know what? You know hey. what? Maybe. Yeah, I mentioned it to him. 
Yeah, we'll let Tag him, tag him. He's local to here now. So, all right. Um, talk to me about Ephesians 4.26. That's a Bible verse. Yes, thank you. It's My name is Joshua. I know a thing or two about the Bible. Go ahead. It's, do not sin in anger and do not let the, the sun go down while you are still angry. Right. It's basically just anger management in its purest, cleanest form. It is. Because at the end of the day, this is an extreme metal band, but I, want, I do want to encourage affirmation with people. I want to encourage good attitudes, you know? Okay. You know? Yeah, a lot of people get like the wrong idea about metal bands, and people just think that because you make angry music right. that you're an angry person. And that goes back to what I was saying about how, like, if you dig down a little bit yeah. and you know anything about music, suddenly you're like, oh, you know, um, and, and there's many bands in this town that, you know, up at, at first, that first sonic assault, you're just like, okay, that's over with. Now it's like a, it's like spicy food. After that first assault, then you're like, okay, now what's actually going on? Ooh, I, I can taste this, you know, or... <laughs> Peated scotch for those of you that drink whiskey. Oh man, I love some Lafroyd. That's the stuff. You can kiss my. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't like smoky peaty stuff. I'm a Highland malt, single malt guy. Oh, oh the Highlands are. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, oh, we're yeah. digressing into whiskey reviews. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. I do whiskey reviews as well. You know, look through the channel. Anyway, nice. um, you are friends of the Social Set and the Cheeks, both of which have been on the channel. Uh, I know the social set pretty well. I haven't yeah. really. I don't think I've ever met any of the cheeks in person. I thought you did a show with them. We did. A show we were supposed to, and then they dropped like uh, last. See, second. I went. I saw a flyer, so I assumed. I asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The social sets dudes are pretty cool. I know them pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Shout out social set. Shout out social set. Yep. I love the social set. Yep. One of my few uh, uh, repeat offenders. They've been on the show twice, and um, <laughs> I just I I love their stuff. I've done reviews. I want more. Give me more. Yeah, Bring me more. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, now we have a music video after this interview, right? Music video. Don't you have a? Music yes, video? we do. Yeah. We're gonna have we a music video come out, come out soon. Yeah. It's not done edited, but we have a couple. We have some stuff dropping. Right on. Well, we're we're going to it's something fun. after the interview that that will show you like what they do. <laughs> um, but before we get to that, uh, a couple more questions, and then we're done. No problem. So, Normally, I would say let's talk gear, but we don't have time tonight. Uh, Drummer. Love fucking how many kids do you have? I uh, have nine. And how many are in your living room? Oh, uh, actually, I don't have anything set up right now at the house. I just yeah. jam a head towards house because I have the living room kid is what you brought tonight. Hard <laughs> living situation because the rent in Las Vegas sucks and yeah. I hate landlords. And, but the other reason I, the other reason we don't have time to really get into gear is because of all the modding you've done and everything. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like, okay, well, here's everything I did, and, and two hours later, yeah. you know, um, and that's how I made it sound like. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, so instead of that, I wanted to talk about favorite show memories. Now you haven't done a lot of shows as this five piece, right? We've done a decent right. handful, yeah. but we don't gig as much as other bands usually right. do. Right. Right. And that actually, it seemed like that made. It, Thirsty for more. Yeah. Like, really, really appreciate the fact that it came out. Uh, it's slightly which, on purpose. Yeah. yeah we don't want to burn ourselves out. Right. Like, new, play with our friends that come from out of state. Uh, Any new musicians out there, pay attention. <laughs> it, don't burn yourself out. If you want to play every freaking week, go ahead. But if you're trying to create, like, a brand and, and, and a sound that people, that you want people to really want, less is more sometimes. You know? Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite show memory? For head gore, you know, playing a show, it could be somebody was jail, it could be, you know, really, really good, it could be, you know, somebody knocked over speaker from moshing. That was weird. Did you see that? No. Yeah. We, yeah, the speaker we, over here. Oh my God. Suddenly, meow, I forget, I think it was uh, the act after you, and, and it just went down, <laughs> and they picked it back up, never stopped pumping out sound. But it was, it was just like, how do you miss that? Anyway, so yeah, whoever wants to start, favorite show memory. I mean, um, my favorite show memory was when we played at New York House when it was a thing. New York and House. New York House. Yeah. New York House. House on New York. Oh yeah, I think I saw I saw uh, uh, you post about that. Mm. Yeah, Oops. I think we were playing with Wacko, and these a shit ton of people jumped into the pool. But the thing is, the pool was like green and filled with mold. <laughs> it was, so was nighttime, so no one could see. <laughs> yeah, like literally everyone was just. Jumping into this moldy This was pre-COVID, obviously. No, this oh. is like during COVID. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, not during, but like 
pretty much like when shows start happening. They're like, okay, all right. <laughs> um, was, I found it hilarious. So I no, that, that is awesome. <laughs> Next. Uh, it'd probably be uh, this show for me because this is the first time I played live with uh, Hedgeworth. Oh, right on. So. Oh, popped your cherry right on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd it go? Oh, it was pretty sick. I should yeah. ask the band. How'd it go? <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty confident about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll say what I said to Irene. Way to not suck. Yeah. 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 Thank you. As musicians, it's all we want is to not suck. Yeah. So. Uh, I think my favorite memory is when uh, we were very proto headboard, and I think at the time it was just you and me, and I think maybe Jason. And it was the set where we played really, really quickly. Uh, <laughs> and one of our friends, Steven, went outside. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of our friends, Steven, went outside, uh, came back six minutes later thinking that we were sound checking, but we, we uh, went really grind for him, played for six minutes, came back. <laughs> Holy like, crap. Really How many songs did you crank out? We didn't have songs at it that was, point. It was a singular performance. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. It was, it was, it was an performance. experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, that was funny. Yeah. So Frank coming back, he's like, you missed our whole set, but we went out for six minutes. You blinked. Yeah, you blinked and you missed it. All right. Nice. Next. Uh, I'd say probably our last show at Pixie was pretty cool, just to get our first, like, real big mosh pit to look up and just see fucking nothing but just like flurry of people you know yeah especially because in the backyard even though it sucks because we get a bunch of dirt in our merch table and everything but like just to see yeah. that fucking sand hit is just yeah. it's an exhilarating you know I, i've heard stories like like uh, the whole area one thing and in other places where people are playing and they're like like you're playing you can't see the crowd yeah like, there's so much freaking du- uh, dirt and stuff in the air yeah and yeah as a singer you're gonna be like oh god yeah right uh, next, uh, probably this show we played at a warehouse where uh, we were using uh, backing drum tracks. Oh um, and the this, uh, did yeah, you Millie Vanilla yourself to skip? One of our roommates. Uh, he, uh, I think what happened was he uh, went behind the PA and oh. turned up the echo on the uh, <laughs> Christ. <right again. laughs> and, uh, so it was just uh, so it was not a an accident. Bit of confusion at the beginning. And then we, uh, we got stopped by the police Ooh. about 10 minutes later. We lost somebody. I was there. That was before I was oh, there. Oh, like, he's checking on our friend. Okay. <laughs> they literally got shut down like a few minutes into the set. Yeah. <laughs> I look up and I see Because they were like the loudest band on the window. I see a cop standing at the door. I'm like, <laughs> oh, was, fuck. You're, all right. You're either a stripper or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, we're, we're stuck we're right really, now. That right. was uh, the warehouse. Yeah, y'all went to that show. That was so cool. <laughs> did we get everybody for best show memory? Of yes. Yeah. Did you get yours? Yeah, yeah I did the, the six minutes. Right on. Okay. So I apologize. This is an abridged, abbreviated interview, but uh, it is what it is. So we are on the last question. You made it. Hey. <laughs> cool. Yeah, falling over. And let's pretend. We're talking to little you, that that little you that first said, I want to start doing music. What is one thing you wish somebody had told you before you started getting into the music scene? Don't do drugs. <laughs> so, uh, Don't it, do, do drugs. it does tend to derail things. And it, it's a hard thing to come back from. It slows you down. Yeah. It, it's, the, it's that temporary good. First of all, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Thinking, no. <laughs> well, you, you do remember what's on your mask, right? <laughs> so, so, but but yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those things. Like having a good time is is fine and all, but if you're trying to actually do a thing at all with some seriousness, yeah. you know, it's like there's there's time and place, and practice ain't it. That's for sure. Recording studio is not it. Uh, so, all right, that's good advice. Don't do drugs, kids. Yes. <laughs> Listen to Nancy Reagan over here. Uh, <laughs> what is Nancy Reagan? Yes. Uh, next. I'll go next. Okay. I would tell uh, younger self me that uh, it's going to be okay. You're going to get closer than you think. Yeah. And that's about it. You're going to get a lot farther than you thought you were going to. And I'm glad to say that. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess that's a good piece of advice to give myself. You'd be surprised what people are willing to take in. Yeah. You'd be surprised at how, how receptive people can be. Cause, yeah, I, I get surprised every single time I look up and I see people getting all, all wacky to our music. I'm like, really? Cool. <laughs> I, I, I was out here taking photos for the review I'm going to do of, of the show. If you haven't subscribed by now, click down there so you won't miss out. I have to do that. Sorry. <laughs> I was surprised. I was standing over here taking some photos and, and filming, and somebody was fanning me with their hair. Just go, go, go. <laughs> and I was just like, there, that's torch. <laughs> but yeah, no, you, you everything ratcheted up a notch when, when you guys started playing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, next. Uh, I probably just told myself that uh, art is subjective. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, very like, much so. really, uh, what's it called, focus on what other people say about your art, you know what I mean, just have fun, you know, right. don't really worry about it. it it's true, it. yeah, creating is one of the hardest things to do because not only are you wor do you worry about it, what other people think, but you have to listen to yourself, and, and you know, I don't, I, I don't know anybody that's a creator or creative that is just like, my, I'm the shit, and everything I do is perfect. And everything I do is great. Everybody loves what I do, and I'm gonna be famous and rich. It, 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 <laughs> no, and it, I I believe that's a, that's an act. Like so many people, there's the there's the persona, but in you know, right. once a week I have to have a conversation with myself, reminding myself why I do this. Yeah, he's right now. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I said you know I don't know anybody. Yeah, so. Uh, did we use? No. Talk to yourself. I would say, uh, learn how to play drums or program drums. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly wish I'd, I'd started earlier. I, I finally... Everybody does. They're yeah. so important. I started like 48 and I, I really wish I had started earlier. But then again, electronic drums weren't really a thing when I was at the age where I would have been like, Hey, I'm gonna learn to play drums! Yeah. And, I, and I couldn't have acoustic kit. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yay Can technology. Can we shout out Robbie? Robbie, oh, yeah. Hi. I was Hi. getting. Hi, yeah, I Robbie. was going to get to you. Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, oh, well, um, I help with work today. Yeah, what? And um, I book other shows in town. Right on. I moved here last summer, and I think um, Headphone was the first live band I saw uh, since the shutdown. So after two years, not yeah. about you know a year and a half not seeing live music. They were the first band I was a live hit <laughs> at a uh, member of the Soul Soul Sense House. Yeah, yeah, that was a good show. That was an elegant show. Yeah, that was very fun. <laughs> house parties can be fun, unless it's your house. Uh, yeah, it's my house. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you speak from experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm sure they they appreciate all your service. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbie. Robbie. Speaking of appreciating shout service, out Robbie. shout out to to Vinny. Hey, Here, yo. Shout out to Vinny, our bartender. And everybody Ryan. else, you are awesome. Your sandwiches are dank. Appreciate yes. it. The nugs are nice. Yeah. And um, Shout out Chiba Hut. Yes. <laughs> Chiba Hut with a dank ass sandwich. Specifically, the Chiba Hut on Sahara and Rainbow in Vegas is the only Chiba Hut in Nevada that has live music. And it's awesome. It's really awesome. You can't see it right now, but it's. It's kind of the perfect space for live music, in my opinion. It's pretty yeah. good. It, yeah. it would suck if it was actually walled in. Yeah. yeah. I like the open aspect of it. Never mind the fact that the sound would just be ugh. Like a comedy, yeah, you know? It's good. Uh, especially a night like tonight. So. Also, there's a lot of people in there. Oh, every time I've been to a thing here, there's been people. Yeah, there's Even when it was cold, people have come out here, and then as soon as the music stopped, they ran inside <laughs> to go to the bathroom. And, and it's all ages. Yeah, yeah, it is all ages. So. Right on. Uh, well. Stick around, we're gonna have something from them after the interview. And uh, in the meantime, if you wanna be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, click the social media link down there, hit me up. We'll have some fun. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, I have merch such as support local music and a whole bunch of other designs at room6.shop. Uh, Patreon page for you know patrons, they have uh, patron-only content every month. And, of course, I've got a couple CDs of my own out that are nothing like you guys make it whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, um, if you want to see more videos like this, though, click up there. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does make a difference, and I'd really appreciate it. Please click down there somewhere and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye, guys. Bye, see you. Guys.
Thank you so much. Bye. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Drummer, missed. I, I, I'm just like, fuck off.